My name is Pavel Adrian. I am an economist and head of uh, economic research for Europe at Indeed, a global job site. I'm based here in London and my job involves doing research on the UK labour market. I've been working here for about a year and a half. I joined in the summer of 2018, uh, right after I finished my PhD in economics. And before uh, being a graduate student, I actually used to work in investment banking in London and in New York. So for me, uh, coming here to work at Indeed in a tech company as an economist was a big career change. I really like the tech environment. Uh, Indeed is a very young company. It has only existed for 15 years. So things are changing very fast. Uh, the company is growing. Uh, it's a fun environment. So it's very different than working in investment banking. But I'm also glad that I had that banking career beforehand. We get a lot of the perks that you typically get in the tech sector, like free breakfast in the office every day and office happy hours. And I think that's something that is really helpful uh, to make the work environment a better place. If you have time during your lunch break, you can play video games or you can play table tennis or pool. And that helps people de-stress, which I think overall makes for a better work environment. I live in Oxford and I work in London, so the commute is quite long. I would say that's probably one of the things I enjoy least about my job. It's that commute. But fortunately, Indeed are a technology company and we have the flexibility to work remotely or work from home. The things I value most about my job are the creativity and the independence to come up with interesting research questions and to figure out ways to answer them. I also really like working with data. I'm a bit of a data nerd, so I really love having access to all the rich data that Indeed has about the labor market. That was definitely one of the things that really attracted me to this position, this ability to explore data on job search and be able to uh, find out really what's going on in the market in real time. For example, we recently looked at demand for foreign language skills by employers in the UK. And you might think that in this age of digital translation tools, Google Translate, DeepL, you don't actually need people who speak foreign languages because you can just use those tools to translate whatever you need. But actually we find that uh, businesses still want people with foreign language skills, specifically for jobs that involve interacting with clients from other countries. So that ability to speak to a client in their own language is still very highly valued. 